Chapter 1 What has been related about truthfulness and falsehood Abdullah ibn Mas'ud narrated that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said Abide by truthfulness for indeed truthfulness leads to righteousness and indeed righteousness leads to paradise A man continues telling the truth and trying hard to tell the truth until he is recorded with Allah as a truthful person Refrain from falsehood for indeed falsehood leads to wickedness and wickedness leads to the fire. A slave of Allah continues lying and trying hard to lie until he is recorded with Allah as a liar. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Truthfulness as a habit in man is not only a commendable virtue in itself, it also has the effect of molding the person into a noble individual and virtuous in all the spheres of life which eventually makes him deserving of a place in paradise. Ibn Umar narrated that the Prophet peace be upon him said, When the slave of Allah lies, the angel goes a mile away from him because of the stench of what he has done. Yahya said, I asked Abdurrahman bin Harun if he approved of it and he said, yes. This hadith is graded ta'if or weak. Footnote Meaning Yahya recited it to Abdul Rahim on his authority that he heard it from Abdul Aziz and Abdul Rahim said yes, meaning it was narrated to me like that. Comments Just as the things of the world have good and bad smell, good and bad actions and words also have good and bad smell that the angels of heaven sense, much as we sense that good and foul smell of material things and objects. Aisha narrated there was no behavior more hated to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, than lying. A man would lie in narrating something in the presence of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he would not be content until he knew that he had repented. This hadith is graded Hassan, or good. Comments Lying is so abhorrent and detestable, a trait in a man's character, that an honorable man feels outrage and disgust against the person practicing it so intensely that he even begins to dislike and detest his company.